What's up guys, Mix of Games here coming back at you with another episode of our Give Me Some Cap Madden Franchise Series. And in this series we're pretty much done with the 2018 season. Unfortunately we did not make the playoffs, but we are seeing as the next season as a big, big upside. We do have a couple young players that we're in the process of developing, including our superstar to, uh, left tackle that we actually got in the last draft, and as well as a right tackle, but there are a couple positions that we definitely do need to fill in free agency and the draft. And the ones that I think we should probably hit the most is going to be this right guard position. Because Dakota, unfortunately, is just not doing it for us. Hopefully, we can actually find someone else as a replacement or if there's anybody decent in there for, for the long run. And as well as defense, we're probably going to look at a couple corners, maybe a D-tackle, and possibly a left end. Everything else seems to be filled up pretty nice, and then honestly, we can also use that to improve in the draft. Actually, the left end, we do have one guy scouted. The Carlo Lewis, yeah, we're definitely going to try and get him in, so we're, we're probably not going to be going for that position in need. But So one of the stipulations, just to kind of recap what the free agency is going to look like, is we do have to keep every signing under 5 mil of the cap hit. So unfortunately, we can't go out there and get like... You know, let's just say, I think Drew Brees usually always, for some reason, gets cut on the team. So, let's say Drew Brees is in there, and he wants a 20 mil contract. Obviously, we can't give him that. We do have to keep it under 5 mil. So, you know, we're definitely going to be looking for cheaper guys, cheaper younger guys, or even those old vets that just kind of want a decent pay-in, and then they'll play as a good replacement. So, let's jump right in, and let's see exactly what guys we can look at. So, we do have 46 mil in cap. Which is awesome, and surprisingly enough, it actually matches our funds pretty equally. But see, right off the bat, we do have Kelvin Benjamin, which I actually do think we should probably look into like one more receiver. Possibly, we do have Will Fuller. He's a he's a nice second addition. But uh, at the third spot, we do kind of have Marquise Goldwyn. But I, I I feel like we're only using him for the speed. Nothing too crazy. But Kelvin Benjamin right here, yeah. See, so he would want a four-year, forty-point-eight mil contract. Which would result in the 7.6, and we're definitely not going to be going into that park. But his stats are nasty with that 99 catch in traffic, 96 spectacular, superstar development, all around a beast of a player. But unfortunately, he is too pricey for our needs, so we're definitely going to keep moving on there. But yeah, see, good example, Drew Brees. He wants a one-year 20 mil, and he would be 20 mil at the cap hit. So nothing, nothing we're going to be shooting at for there. But let's take a look at right guards and let's see what kind of replacement guys we can have here. So we do have Josh Sitton who wants a 5.1 but we're going to see if we can actually haggle him because he would actually be a pretty decent replacement for at least a year. Yeah, probably a year in case we can't draft anybody or we just really need that position to need. I actually do have to look at the stats because... I know we did absorb a lot, but I think they're definitely going to be going down for the next season. So let's see. He is 33 years old. He's pretty much at the end of his career. So let's see if we can actually get him for a little bit cheaper. We're going to go with a 3.5 mil contract. Let's see. Let's see if that's something that he would actually be accepting or if someone else jumps right in at the last second. Now we do have here John Greco, but nothing we really want to look at. But is this we yeah, Willie Beavers? Mm. Nah, nothing too crazy as well. I think that's gonna be it for for the right guards. So let's see. Actually, let's see what do they have at left guard. So we do have Raymond Foster here, who actually is not that bad. So considering he does have really nice pass blocking and, and really really good awareness and his quick development, he will get in some XP even though at his age everything is gonna be crazy expensive. But I think. Who's our left guard? Let's just... Oh, actually, we could have checked it right there. But we're going to check the stats. And we do have Detmer at an 82. So what is he looking at? So, okay, yeah. So he's only 25 years old. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to gonna keep working with Turner here. So we're not going to be going into him. And we do have Greg Mance here. And he is still relatively young, so progressing. So, yeah, so I think, I think the right guard is really our main position of need. We do have Bruce, but he was also a rookie last year. So, I think we're going to be looking at uh, at that Josh Sitton. And then, let's see. So, receivers, we're actually doing okay with receivers. Like I said, we do have Marcus, Marquise Goodwin. 
with the really really nice speed that we could use as a kick returner and as well as a slot guy but i think what we should do is probably look at what kind of corners are available and possibly d tackles so let's see what other guys are also up here anybody worthwhile we're gonna take a look at corners real quick so okay yeah so we do have dominic rogers camardi here but he does want a whopping one year eight mil contract so we're definitely not gonna be looking at him at all and we do have willie gay eric rowe and oh okay trey waynes so his zone is very very piss poor not really that good but he doesn't want that bad of a contract and i feel like he he would actually be a decent third guy if all we had to do was bump up the zone so because we do have kevin johnson as our number one and then we did trade for Artie burns in the last season and other than that we don't have any more any more quality depth so I'm wondering if we should actually probably go into the draft and then just do that and if anything we'll, we'll just come back to that position no one crazy but D tackle I did want to look at because like I said before we don't have like that traditional nose tackle kind of get off the line and help with the pass rush but we do have Steven Paya here who actually is not that bad considering his age with that 92 strength his other stats obviously have been declining but he does have some really nice traits and he's just kind of that big old run stopping guy right there and we also do have Dean Williams, who's actually pretty good himself, too. I, I'm almost feeling we should probably snag one of these guys. And you know what? I think Brandon Mabin might be the guy that we go for. So we do have Larry. Larry, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name, but we're going to call you Larry. We do have him and Xavier Cooper. And other than that, I don't want to go too low, but I think we're going to try and go for Brandon Mabin. He's a little bit older. So I'm hoping no one really goes for him, and hopefully we can actually just get him for a little bit of a decent, decent, uh, decent contract here. So let's see if we can actually get him for, for just about that. Yeah. So one year, 2.8 mil. Obviously half of what he wants. Probably is going to reject it, but guess what? No one. He he's at the age of 34. I'm really using him for depth. So nothing, nothing that we're going to be needing right off the bat. So it almost looks like. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So we're also going to check into the receivers, but it doesn't look like we're going to be going too crazy into this free agency. Really, no big name guys, and at the same time, we really can't spend big name bucks. So we do have Nelson Angular here, who, ooh, okay. So he does have the quick development trait, which is actually really, really good. So I think he, he does just barely get under that 5 mil cap, but I think what we're going to do. We're going to try and boost up his contract just a little bit, get him for, for those four years. And let's get him at a 24 and a half. Yeah, 24 and a half for four years, which only results in just another pretty much mil and a half. So let's see if we can actually snag him for this price. So it is something that, that he would want, and he would actually be a perfect addition at our slot receiver spot and a nice complimentary piece to our receiving core. So let's see who else we have. So we do have Philip Dorsey, and like I said, I do tend to look at their speed and he's actually really really good with that quick development as well so i think i think what we might end up doing is snagging him and probably going to be dropping goodwin considering that his overall is better and and he does have a better development so let's see if we can offer him just a little bit more what he wants only really 0.5 and let's see if he'll take it for the four years and that's also going to be another high contract so two guys here that we're going to be looking at which is actually going to be really really nice so i think we're good for for the receiving core in case our guys do get bid on then obviously we're going to be looking at other options but nelson angelor philip dorsett hopefully you guys are welcome to the team and let's just look at our negotiations really quick and let's see so we do have we are going for josh Sinton at our right guard position nelson angular philip dorsett and brandon mayban i think those are really going to fill out most of the needs that we need on this squad and then everything else we could just pretty much fill in like i said i'm really really thinking on to see if we can actually draft that carlos lewis we do have, I believe, the number ninth overall pick, so, so we are at least going to be in the top, top 10, and I would gladly, gladly take him at, at the top 10 pick, but let's just see anybody that we just want to look in here in case we need some insurance. 
So Eli Harold, definitely not going after you. Dante Fowler, not crazy stats. He, he's definitely more of a rusher. Not really sure why they have him as a balanced, because he is kind of that speed rusher. But T Ford, so Tyler Ford, hmm. Okay, so he's really just raw because he's only 22 years old. Doesn't really have anything that screams out, but for 77 overall, to have 96 speed, 80 acceleration, he's definitely another speed rusher, which at least he is able labeled that. Ooh, so I'm wondering if we should probably go for him because he, he would be just kind of like a nice little complimentary piece. But I think I think we're gonna skip that and we're probably gonna put all of our eggs into that left end spot and hopefully we can actually get them. But we do have Romeo Aqua here and yeah, just not really not really doing it for me. So I think that's it. So let's sim the week and let's see if we can actually get any of our offers accepted. Let's see if anybody wants to join the team. Okay, yeah, so we got surprisingly we got both of our receivers right off the bat. Kind of knew that was going to happen because they were definitely offers a little bit more than what they actually wanted. And we actually were able just to snag them off the market really quick. So at least we do have some nice receiver depth. And we're definitely going to be getting rid of a few guys. Hopefully we can actually make a trade here. But yeah, so the left end position is definitely our main position of need as well as the right guard. So the right guard, we do have Casey Williams here who will kind of be of a nice bailout in case we don't get, I think he's actually a right end. Yeah, in case we don't get Carlos Lewis because he he's definitely, I, I'm going for Carlos Lewis, everybody. We are definitely going to be picking up this guy. Hopefully, um, if we have to make a trade, then I'm, I'm surprised he's supposed to go in the mid first round. He's definitely going on our team. I see something very, very special in him. Jamal P, you're good, but no, uh, Carlos Lewis is, is a guy that we're definitely going to be needing. But worst case, if we do not get him, then we're definitely going to be going with Casey Williams. And yeah, as you see there, we do have the number 9th overall pick and the 20th overall pick. And let's just see. So a late first round, I mean, if we snag him with that 20th pick, I would be very, very happy with that as well. And that would just be two nice pieces that we definitely need. But other than that, we really have kind of a decent team. We just gotta, we just gotta develop everybody. We just pretty much gotta keep getting XP and just keep, keep on going, keep on working. And then hopefully, in this season, we can actually make the playoffs. And let's see if we can actually go pretty deep in the playoffs. So I'm gonna ex exhaust the rest of this XP. And I'm not really sure what positions we haven't scouted yet, but I'm just gonna dump into the points into any random slot that we haven't done so strong safety there we go so surprisingly that carol that carol strong safety from from tcu he actually had an amazing combine grade but i'm surprised that he is projected to go in the fourth round there that is definitely not a good sign usually means that their development is just a little bit low and definitely lacking not on par on where they needed to be so let's just finish off these points and we do so then now let's go into free agency and let's see if anybody has jumped on our guys and if they want to kind of outbid us so we do have the rams here and they're definitely definitely going to try and get josh Sitton. considering that we gave them a one year three and a half mil contract and we're at about half of what they offered so pretty much they they gave him his contract on top of it so we're definitely not going to be getting Justin and, and we're going to sit tight on Brandon Meebane. Like I said, he's really going to be a backup D tackle. So no one that we're really going to be going crazy into. So let's see if we sim the week. What exactly is going on? So he does reject our contract and he does sign with the opposing team. And that's all right. We didn't really need him. Like I said, we do kind of have a backup plan in the draft and no one is going for Brandon Meebane. So that's going to be all right. And yeah, so we do have a backup plan in the in the draft. Hopefully, we can actually snag that guy. But what I do plan on doing is making some sort of trade to possibly either move up the 20th pick, or as well as move up the ninth overall pick, because I do want to secure Carlos Lewis on our team. I, I think he he's definitely going to be the home run in this draft for us, at least in our needs. And hopefully, we can actually snag him. And then as well as be able to get our right guard of the future as well. And that would just be really, really nice. 
So let's exhaust the last of this XP. I do believe the draft is going to be coming up next. And then we'll actually find out if Brandon Meebane is going to be, be signing a contract with us. If not, well, then that's okay. Um, nothing that we can do about that. So we're just going to run out the XP on the quarterbacks, even though we're definitely not going to be snagging one. But that Sean guy definitely looks pretty good. He has an A plus of throw power, so I can only imagine what his stats are and then b plus is short and b to mid if anybody needs a quarterback he's the guy to take okay so that's all set and we're definitely gonna sim it let's find out if brandy me may accept our contract or if he's still negotiating yeah so he's still definitely negotiating um, he's probably not going to end up signing, but if we have to pick him up in free agency, we will. If not, we're just going to fill him in uh, through the draft and we'll be all set. But I'm actually going to end this episode here, guys, only because the NFL draft is going to take a little bit more time. And I kind of want to have that in one video rather than, than just split out two different segments. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Also, please leave comments if you guys want specific trades going on in this draft or uh, um, on this team. If you guys want to get specific players that hopefully meet our threshold of 5 mil or less. And we'll be able to bring them on to the team with some crazy trades. But at the same time, we will be making some trades to hopefully move it up in the draft. And I, like I said before, I got, a, I got my eye on a couple guys in here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment with any suggestions or comments that you guys might have on this series or any other series in general. At the same time, also follow my Instagram at mixofgames.com. And be, a be able to just follow me there and keep update on when new videos are also posted. And also keep that notification bell on so you guys never miss an upload. This is Mix of Games, guys. Peace.